Hello everyone, this is Bacholi with Archeon. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to use the advanced features of the Blueprint tool, as well as publish a uh, Blueprint on the workshop. So we're going to use this one that I just made. This is a truster assembly. It's all ready to go. Uh, first of all, we can, I guess, uh, remove this platform that I built it on, right? And uh, then we have the uh, liquid hydrogen port here, liquid oxygen here. We have a data port that's connected to the computer and a high voltage junction here to split the power between everything. And uh, so this truster assembly will just work straight out of the box because the computer has everything in it already. So basically we are forwarding the uh, input from the uh, data bridge here to the ignition and the gimbal on the truster, but also to the flow on the um, fuel pumps and the oxygen pumps, where the uh, hydrogen pump has uh, a uh, division by eight here, because a perfect ratio for liquid oxygen and hydrogen by mass is eight, right? So you're gonna want uh, to divide by eight uh, to get a perfect burn ratio, right? So, this is ready to take as a blueprint and uh, we're going to do that here's the blueprint tool hit the six key and then we're going to take the blueprint of that by holding uh, the left mouse button until cyan and then we can name it we're going to name it um, truster assembly we're going to hit create and uh, once we did that we can actually spawn it onto another build and we could spawn it multiple times if we want to so let's just do a build real quick we select our blueprint we right click we're gonna find it in our local blueprints because this we it's one that we just created we're gonna hit spawn right so of course we can just spawn it anywhere but we can also spawn it on an existing build right? so we can this way we can like copy uh, parts of builds yeah, somehow right so we're gonna put it approximately, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna adjust it after. So we're gonna click like this. So right now, of course, we can't put it like this. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna rotate it with the mouse wheel, right? But it's really not in the proper kind of orientation. So we're gonna hit shift, we're gonna hold shift to choose another type of orientation. So that looks good. We're gonna re release shift and then we can orient it in other ways in that plane. I think uh, this this will be good. Now we can hit X key to change the mode, and this will be a translation in X. We can hit X again, translation in Y, and X again, and a translation in Z. Right. So we're gonna put it, I guess, uh, right here. Right. Uh, we can hit X again to toggle, like choose another uh, plane to translate. Let's put it here. And we're going to hold the left mouse button when we're ready until it's fully opaque. Then we let go and it's right there. Of course, it's a bit heavy, so uh, let's compensate for that. I'm going to add some uh, uh, concrete blocks here. Let's just add a concrete uh, floor. Right. Okay, so now we have one thruster. Let's make a second one. So same thing. We're going to spawn it here. Put it anywhere. Press X to translate it where we want it. X again, X. Uh, well, actually, we're gonna rotate it first. We're gonna rotate it this way, X. It's a bit uh, difficult to use at first, but then uh, you get the, uh, the hang of it. So I think that's where we want it. I mean, you can walk around, you know, and it, it stays where it is, so that you can actually see where you're putting it. This is looking great so far. So we want it there, we hold the left mouse button and then let go and there it is so we have twice the same blueprint uh, onto an existing build right so this will literally merge the blueprints with the, the build and now we can uh, i guess we could just strap in some uh, some fuel tanks there and let's let's use these fuel tanks uh we're gonna put um, one here and one here and we're going to need a high voltage battery as well here and 
let's put it here. Let's remove that wall so that we can see what we're doing there. And uh, we're going to need junctions because we want to uh, use both uh, the, uh, the, the, the boosters here, the thrusters. So we're going to put a, uh, I mean, two, two junctions. And we are going to connect this fluid pipe from one tank here to that junction, from the other tank to the other junction. And um, let's say this one is going to be for liquid oxygen and this one for liquid hydrogen. Okay, so this junction is going to output liquid hydrogen. So let's connect that to our liquid hydrogen connectors. I'm going to have to do this, and let's connect this one to liquid oxygen, like this. Then we're going to use the uh, high voltage spool to connect to the high voltage junction on that blueprint. And now what we have left is, I guess, some toggle switch, because that's fun, we're just going to hit the uh, button. Uh, I mean, I'm going to turn the switch on and the whole thing is just going to start flying, right? So let's connect that to, oh, right, well, I guess we need a data junction here. Maybe we'll do that. So oh, let's keep it off for now. Put the data junction here. Connect the input of this to the, the uh, switch and connect the two outputs to the uh, thrusters, right? Now, technically, if everything goes according to plan, I haven't actually tested that one, but if I turn on this switch, it will just go, right? Let's see, we have fuel, right? We have uh, liquid oxygen here and liquid hydrogen here, and it's full. Uh, so let's try that. I guess that worked. Okay. So there's that, it's over there. Now, if I want to upload that blueprint to the uh, Steam Workshop, all I have to do is select the Blueprint tool, right click, and then I can find it here, and I can hit Publish, right? This will open up a new window, and I can name it here. Truster Assembly, and I can make it public, I can make a quick description, I can go ahead and make a, uh, a preview image. If uh, I want to make a preview image, I have to make it 500 by 512 pixels, not more than one megabyte. And then I can click here to open up the folder to drag it into. Right? Now, uh, this is, uh, I mean, it's not a vehicle exactly. Right? It's, uh, I guess it's a machine. It's uh, a component. Uh, yeah, it's more just of a component, right? It's like it's a it, it's a composite uh, build here, just a component, right? So after writing a description, all we have to do is hit publish, and then we can edit it uh, after that, right? So I'm gonna hit publish here, and the blueprint has successfully been published, right? So that's done, and now we should be able to see it in our workshop. We're going to hit shift tab, go in the uh, workshop, and um, let's see your files here. And this is the truster assembly, it's right here. Right? There's no preview because I haven't put any preview yet. I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, right after this recording. So that's it for this one. See you on the next one.